guys, and welcome back to another Foodie Friday video. This actually was requested, but little did my subscriber who requested it know, I already had these when they requested it, and it all actually already tried them, but hadn't yet filmed a review yet. So this is the Goldfish Veggie Crackers in Cheesy Tomato. I know they also have a carrot flavor, and I'm not sure if there's others besides those two. If there's more, let me know. I have not seen any others than those two, and I've only ever seen the carrot one, like, one time. That one time I bought it, and I kind of figured they'd still be there when I came back after trying them. And then they weren't, and I've never seen them again since then, and it's kind of frustrating, because I didn't really, uh... I didn't plan that one out well. I ate them before reviewing them. Oops, my bad. But <laughs> I, I thought goldfish, like, who expects them to disappear that quick? Like, really, though? Really, though? <laughs> I didn't. So, regardless, the tomato ones have been there nonstop, so I'm just assuming they're better liked all around. But the person who requested this apparently thinks they're gross because they had the... Uh, they asked me specifically, have you tried the goldfish tomato crackers? And they had the pukey face emoji next to it. I was like, why the pukey face? I thought they were good. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what it looks like. Um, to me, this seemed like a natural combination of flavors. Because think about it. Think of how many people get tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich. Like, those two flavors just naturally go together, I'm just saying. That's why it seems pretty natural to me, whereas carrot seemed like it would be sweeter and a little more iffy, and they did not turn out to be sweet, but they were definitely iffy, so <laughs> I wouldn't say gross necessarily, but definitely iffy. I kind of feel like there should be, like, a greens type of flavor, too, but I have not yet seen one. Like, oh, I guess there only is the two, because on the back, try our other delicious flavor. Not flavors, just flavor, and it's the carrot one. Well, I maintain they should, like, make a spinach one, just saying. But anyway, so veggie yum tomato goodness baked in with the great taste you expect from goldfish. What's not to love? No artificial flavors or preservatives. So, it's supposedly about four servings per container. I call bullshit. Uh, calories, 140 per serving. And most of... The nutrition facts are about what you'd expect. The sodium's not great. It's 11% for, like... Well, actually, I guess it says one serving size is 57 pieces. That's decent. That's decent. But at the same time, it's like, that is quite a bit of salt for some goldfish crackers. Um, but still, still, just saying... Uh, you apparently get, like, 30% of your folic acid from one serving, which is kind of interesting. 15% of thiamine, 6% of iron, 2% of potassium, 10% of riboflavin, 4% of calcium. No vitamin D! <laughs> so, anyways, let us up these up. It's been a while since I've had them, but... Anyways, I was expecting them to be red, and they're not really red. They're definitely darker than a normal goldfish cracker, but they're not red red, you know? But regardless, they come in that shape. And then little cute tomatoes. Adorable! So, the carrot ones naturally, instead of having tomato shapes, they have little carrot shapes, but I digress. They're not that far off from normal goldfish crackers. They're a little crunchier because they're baked, but I mean, there's also like the normal goldfish crackers in the baked variety, right? If I remember right. If so, they're like that, except with like a small hint of tomato. Well, not just tomato, but like specifically kind of like tomato soup. Kind of like V8, kind of somewhere in there, in that neighborhood. I think they're really good! I don't know what my subscribers talking about thinking they're gross. I thought they were great. I've bought these several times over now. Because I sneak them in my purse, I bring them to work with me, like, in case my blood sugar drops, like, if I've, like, already had my break, I may sneak off and, like, need a bathroom break and just, like bring some of these with me, just have something. But honestly, I think they're fucking good. 
Do I think a kid would eat these? Yeah, I think so. I think the carrot flavor might weirdly be the iffier flavor for a kid, which seems so backwards, but no. I think they'd like these just fine. It's not so vegetable-y to where you would, like, tip them off that it's healthier than a normal goldfish cracker, but... But it's in there. They can be sneaky healthy <laughs> when they're snacking. But yeah, I really like them, personally. I find them very satisfying. And knowing that they're a little bit better for you than normal goldfish crackers, always good, too. So, I like them all around, just saying. Just saying. And for 57 pieces per serving size, that's very decent, I think. So, for me, they definitely get a thumbs up. I recommend them. But then again, if you're not really a vegetable person, you might not like them. But, I don't think it's a super strong vegetable taste is the thing. I think the concept might sound weird on paper to some, but give them a shot. They're not bad. I promise you, they're not bad. So, anyways, that is about all I have to say for this one, so as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Instagram, my Twitter, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.